California meal delivery startup Freshly is partnering with Nestle to donate $500,000 to Meals on Wheels. This is in order to try to help seniors uh, and those most at risk during the coronavirus uh, crisis. Joining us right now to talk about this and everything that's happening, Michael Weistrak. He is co-founder and CEO of Freshly. Uh, good morning to you, Michael. Um, uh, this is a great thing that you're doing. One of the things we want to talk about th this morning is how you're going to get those meals to people and how across the country people are going to be getting supplies over the next several weeks and possibly months. Um, tell us what it's like on the ground. Good morning, first of all. Uh, look, we're seeing unprecedented demand. I, mean, I think, as you can imagine, uh, now more than ever, people are looking for meals delivered direct to their house. You know, coming into this, we already had about a third of our total consumer base was people over 50, uh, with a big section uh, <clears throat> over 65, 70. Um, a lot of people bought their parents' meals uh, through our service, and, and it was a great service then. And, and you can imagine it's even better service now um, with uh, people trying to stay inside. Uh, the challenge for us and, and the challenge I think we're seeing with our, our business is, is we literally are sold out. Uh, four weeks in advance. We are uh, taking people on a waiting list. We're doing the absolute best we can to service our customers and to service special needs and requests. Um, but we wanted to do more. Uh, we wanted to see how we could help service people uh, when, when literally we're at max capacity. So we worked with Nestle. They, they were early investors in, in 2018 and, and have been amazing. We worked with uh, their senior team and we said, what else can we do? Uh, we looked at services that are, are equipped to really help right. at the most at vulnerable group right now, which is senior citizens. Uh, so we went ahead, we moved quickly. We made uh, a $500,000 donation uh, yesterday to Meals on Wheels. Additionally, we've set up on Freshly.com, we've set up uh, donation pages. Uh, so you can go directly to Freshly.com and make a donation now. So we hope that this is just a jump start to the donations going to them. But it's it's something that is absolutely critical right now that you know, our senior citizens are getting meals brought to them and are and are not leaving, especially those that uh, have compromised health. Michael, uh, it's a great thing that you're doing. One of the big questions, and it's not just happening, I imagine, with your company, but happening uh, with, with all sorts of companies that are trying to stay in business, not just stay in business, but actually service the public right now, is actually keeping employees and keeping employees healthy, keeping kitchens clean. Um, how, are you, how are you dealing with that? Uh, we've heard some anecdotal stories about employees that are not wanting to come to work for obvious reasons. Um, Amazon closed down a, uh, a warehouse just yesterday in Queens because uh, somebody was, was identified as being COVID positive. So how are you thinking about that process? Because as we think about the supply chain over the next several weeks and months, that becomes a real issue. Yeah, I mean, I think first and foremost, you know, we took Nestle's investment, as I said, back in 2018. Our number one focus has always been on food safety. Uh, over the last two years, we've invested $50 million into facilities and teams uh, around food safety way before this. So we have full, you know, again, before anything around COVID-19 came into place, we have full washdown facilities that we wash down 24 uh, every day. Uh, we have the best protocols in place to defend against things like this. So, and, and Nestle's been a world-class partner and, and the absolute number one leader in food safety across the world in the food industry. Uh, I can't speak to others, and, but I can say for our employees, uh, we have 1,700 strong. Um, every single one of them recognizes the significance of the value that we bring to our customers. Uh, now, like many people in the country, we're dealing with all sorts of stuff with uh, you know, daycare being shut down, all sorts of things like that. But uh, we've seen a workforce, we've seen a team come together and say that we're part of the front line on this. Uh, we're going to be an important part getting through this over the next two, three, four months, however long this lasts. Uh, and I think it is buckling down and making sure that uh, we're doing right by our employees, certainly. But our employees do view this. We've always been a mission-driven company, and this is, this is part of our mission. Is, you know, it's always been about getting healthy meals to okay. our customers, and now more than ever, this is important. And, and Michael, I think Becky's got a question for you. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. Uh, you know, just to Andrew's point, the Amazon uh, warehouse being shut down because they had a, a positive confirmed case of coronavirus. Same thing with Fresh Direct, one of the food delivery services around here. First of all, have you all had any uh, positive test identifications? And, and what would you do? What, what uh, methods have now been put in place in case that happens, in case you find a case down the road? It, it seems hard to imagine with that many associates it won't happen at some point. Yeah, we, we have not. Um, again, I think it comes back to we're probably in a little better position than those companies in that we have already kind of built in 
full safety protocols around washdown every single day. Uh, plants really built Michael, for Michael, a different I, I'm, level Michael, of safety. I'm, Michael, I'm going to stop you. Michael, Michael, I'm going to stop you because you come on here and you've done a great job uh, talking about your business. And I, I, God bless you for what you're doing. But um, it is impossible to believe that over the next several weeks and months that you're not going to have employees who are going to test positive for COVID-19. Um, this is an issue that a lot of people are dealing with in a very straightforward way. The idea that you're going to be washing and somehow you have safer kitchens than everybody else makes no sense to me. Can you just try to talk us through on a very basic human level what you plan yeah. on doing when you have a COVID-19 positive employee? Because no, this no, is no, happening very fair. all so, across the country right now and employees are dealing very with Very fair. It. Yeah, no, very fair. So we've been extremely proactive on this. Uh, we were one of the first people to shut down offices in New York. We shut down offices over a week, uh, over a week and a half ago in New York. Uh, we've already put in place screening in front of every single one of our locations to screen to make sure people are not uh, testing positive or t have t uh, temperatures or any have been around anyone with COVID-19. When you say you're screening, you're, hold on, hold on. No, this is, Michael, this is exactly where I wanted to go with the conversation. So hold on. You're screening every employee every morning. How are you doing that? A lot of other CEOs, if, if you, in fact, are the model, tell us the model of how you're doing this. So, so one, I think, and I want to be very careful, is that we are working uh, diligently with our local and state officials, as well as Nestle. We set up, uh, starting last week, we set up screening in front of every single one of our facilities. Uh, every single person, 24-7, is being screened coming into our facilities. Uh, we're working diligently to get temperature when screening you say screen, and things like that. How do you screen them? So right now we're doing questions on we're, every single person. Is that is, so we're, we've is that ordered a we're, we're is that having a forehead temperature we're, screen. So, so so Andrew, we're we're working right now. As you can imagine, the supply chain is really limited on things. So we're working. We're working with county and state officials to get more supplies uh, for temperature monitoring. Right now we're doing full screening in front of uh, screening employees. We've gone ahead immediately and issued additional paid leave for all of our employees. Uh, we've gone out and recommunicated uh, to all of our employees to stay home if they have any symptoms. Uh, we, we are doing everything in our full force, first and foremost, to protect our employees, but also to make sure that <clears throat> they're not being economically hit uh, from this and the best we can do to mitigate this. So we, we have, I feel that we have been leaders in, in the front of this. Uh, it is a tough situation, Andrew. So I, I agree with everything you're saying. Our employee safety is absolutely paramount. Now, the challenges as well as what we're looking at, as I think you guys understand, is the supply chain of America and the food supply chain of America is critical. It is absolutely critical. Uh, so we are doing everything in our power. Are you seeing a breakdown sure of that supply that chain? We are not. We are not. We think we have a great supply chain in the United States. And I think it's paramount and critical. And I think so far the local and state officials that we've been working with have been very supportive of making sure that the food supply chain and critical things around the supply chain maintain. And I think, look, as we go to work right. from home okay. states, as we look at an, a changing and evolving solution, it's critical that we make sure that these important things are maintained. And, and, and look, no one, right. no one is, is more proactive on employee safety, and we have been absolute leaders right. in this. Well, well.